Many people are asking, how are we going to watch ReZero? Are we going to watch the regular or are we going to watch the director's cut? There's so many people on both sides saying the most like polarizing shit. So I decided to do a little bit of research and figure out exactly what's going on. And there is this one thread from the ReZero subreddit four months ago saying, why does no one seem to suggest the director's cut of season one? And there's a blah, blah, blah. But then there's, I want to see here. Edit two. Just read this dude's comment for a summary of why the Blu-ray edition is better than the director's cut. And let's see what this thread has to say. And basically, he responds here. My understanding is that season one skips a lot of content that leads into season two, especially the very ending, which gets repeated at the start of season two. This is the comment that I see all the time with people that's glazing the director's cut saying, no, you have to watch this. Please, you have to watch this. No matter what, you have to watch this. This is incorrect. If you look at the My Anime list, you'll notice that the most notable upgrades that you might notice were added in the Blu-ray version as well. And thus should not be associated with the director's cut. I prefer the Blu-ray over the director's cut because a lot of these scenes where they play the ending, they just don't have any music or the music choice makes it feel less impactful. I heard this a lot. I hear that the director's cut decision actually ruins the experience by not having these impactful soundtracks play at certain moments. Also, the subs of Jealous Witch instead of Witch of Envy, which is bad translation. I'm not convinced by any dialogue changes. To be frank, I just find that the most people who just director's cut of the original are just misinformed about what changed. I've seen numerous people say that there's new content added, which is especially untrue today, since the extra scene is at the start of season two, which is someone will watch right away when the director's cut came out first. It was new, it's not really anymore, but because it's duplicated. And now I pointed out that it's only new content. They like to point out Memory Snow, which is certainly not in the director's cut. Based in my experience, people just say there's new stuff and then can't actually say what is new besides the duplicate scene. To be clear, there's some new animation, but it's not going to make you come up with some new information. People just tend to think that it's some sort of a Hollywood director cut where the runtime is noticeably different. And that's just not the case with ReZero this director's cut. And here's what I'm going to do. I am going to experience ReZero that 99% of you motherfuckers experience when watching this live. Not the director's cut. Fuck you if you think that this is the worst way to do it. If any monkey comes crying saying, Oh my god, you're not watching Director's Cut. Every video, I will make a sacrifice video laughing at your retarded ass. I do not want to cater towards the 0.1% of the sweaty neck beards that feel like the Director's Cut is the best thing ever seen. I guarantee you, most people haven't even seen the Director's Cut. They just saw the fucking anime when it aired, the seasonal anime, and it was amazing. And I'm going to get that identical experience. You don't like it? Stop watching me pussy but guess what my reactions are so fucking good i guarantee you my reasonable reactions on youtube that's about to come out is gonna be better than any any youtube reaction channel and the product speaks for itself and that's why i can get away with banning retards calling you fucking monkeys and you still eat this shit up i'll see you in those reactions pussy